Yes, Internet, it is I, Sam the Hammer Humphreys, and you are watching The Watcher. And if you're not watching The Watcher, then you best have an excuse. The Watcher, yeah, it's always watching you. Jimmy Woo, Johnny, and Emma Frost, and Lee. Hey, Marvelites, let's kick off with big movie news. May is right around the corner, and you know what that means, Marvel's Iron Man 3. More news about the film is being released every day, and this week four character posters have also been released on Marvel.com, including exciting looks at Aldrich Killian, Mandarin, Pepper Potts, and Iron Patriot. To be sure that you are getting all of the latest Iron Man updates before anybody else, you have to go and like the official Iron Man Facebook fan page and Twitter. Director Brian Singer also announced big news via Twitter last week. Peter Dinklage, the backstabbing brother Tyrion of Game of Thrones, will be joining the cast of X-Men Days of Future Past. Dinklage's official role has not yet been released, but who do you hope to see him playing? And what are you most excited about in Iron Man 3? Tell me down below. In gamer news, Activision and Marvel Entertainment proudly present the Amazing Spider-Man Ultimate Edition which is swinging onto Nintendo's Wii U console on March 5th. Picking up after the events of last summer's blockbuster film, Spidey must swing through the jungles of Manhattan as he battles reimagined classic villains and all new creations. Ooh, sounds dangerous. And speaking of great team-ups, Threadless and Marvel have teamed up for the release of Spider-Man vs. His Arch Enemies. The collection of 26 community designed tees features Spidey, clashing with foes like Doc Ock, Venom, and the Green Goblin, which will be sold exclusively on Threadless.com. I also recently got to catch up with Sam Humphreys of Uncanny X-Force and Ultimate Comics The Ultimates while he was here in town for Marvel's super secret writer retreat. Check it out right now. Hi, welcome to The Watcher, Sam Humphreys, writer of Uncanny X-Force and The Ultimates. So how has it been taking over? Of course, Rick Remender had a huge run on Uncanny X-Force. Oh, yeah, it was absolutely. wonderfully successful. You know, I, I've loved Rick's run for years, since the very beginning, actually. Um, but I, I loved it enough to leave it alone. I have to say, I really love Psylocke's story. I think something that you mm. capture amazingly well in it is her sort of pain and devastation. Yeah. Um, what's your experience of writing that character? So I knew right away that we wanted to blow up the Phantom X Psylocke relationship. We gave them about six months together in happy yeah. bliss, but um, it ended poorly and so much so that she can't really find her place in the world. You know, it, she's just kind of having that uncertainty that comes with being uncertain about who you are and where you're going next. Thank yes. you so much for being on My the pleasure. Watcher. Thank you for having me. I just got to give a shout out to all the fans out there, especially yeah. the X-Force fans. Thank you so much. Well, we'll see more of Sam Humphrey soon. Pick up Uncanny X-Force 1 and 2 are out now. See you guys later. Bye. And now it's time for the watch list where I give you my top picks for books hitting comic stores and the Marvel Comics app this Wednesday, February 27th. First up, Guardians of the Galaxy Point One by Brian Michael Bendis with art by Steve McNiven. Kick off this exciting new series with the origin story of Star-Lord. This book will be laying the way to one of the greatest new series in the Marvel Universe and is going to get you all prepared for Guardians of the Galaxy, the film coming in 2014. It's a must read. Next up, Young Avengers number two by Kieran Gillen with art by Jamie McKelvey. Hulkling's mother has been saved from another universe and is back home cooking them breakfast already. But is she really Hulkling's mom? Talk about baby mama drama. And speaking of drama, Astonishing X-Men number 59 by Marjorie Liu with art by Gabriel Hernandez Walta. Nightcrawler from the Age of Apocalypse is in our universe and has gone missing after killing a man in cold blood. You won't want to miss this dramatic lead up to the extermination crossover event happening in March. And now it's time for Amazing Fantasy Showdown, where we throw down on who we want to show down. Psylocke is being put through the ringer in Uncanny X-Force. And last week we saw Sam Alexander get ready to take up the mantle of Nova in Nova Number 1. But who would reign supreme if these two battle it out? Be sure to tell me what you think down below, and your comment might just be watched on The Watcher. And special thanks to YouTube commenter, Big Hitters 202 who answered my question about who you'd like to see get together in the Marvel Universe or to get together again, saying Deadpool and Chimichangas. You're so right, there's really no love greater 
than the Merc with chimichangas in his mouth. Do you have Burning Marvel questions? Show me your tweets, send me your questions, comments, and Hulkouts on Twitter at Lorraine Sink. And I'll see you guys next time, true believers. I'm Lorraine Sink for Marvel, your universe. And if you're not watching The Watcher, then you best have an excuse. The Watcher, yeah, it's always watching you. Marvel, your universe.